so welcome guys to a new video and in this video i am going to show you how you can make your own qfh antenna uh, which is tuned to 137.5 megahertz and it is for capturing the uh, lower polar orbit satellites uh, which are weather satellites so in this video i am going to demonstrate you how i have made my polar orbiting satellite antenna uh, qfh antenna to be precise this antenna has quite a uniform gain pattern so uh, I have a bit of hassle making this antenna uh, I will show you what mistakes I have done what you can correct it for this is not much complicated as it looks to be but uh, in my case I have gone quite a bit of hassle in this uh, setup uh, I have used 0.5 mm aluminium wire which are used to um, used in power uh, carrying conductor or utility uh, conductor very thick aluminium wire and it is quite hard to bend the uh, wire and make this thing to uh, its appropriate shape and for the boom I have used a uh, naked conductor uh, spacer pipe uh, which is also being found in power uh, distribution corporations so I have used that as a boom and uh, the length of this system is actually quite uh, uh, unique so I have managed to do this and here I have used a TV cable coax and uh, the connection is actually there are two loops I will demonstrate you in a diagram and uh, how you can make this easily by not going to the all the directions and doing all that thing just have to uh, have the total length of the wire and each um, element direction the total length of the elements and the curvature will come as you build so I am going to show you that in my paper what I have gone through so in the design as you can see I have uh, this is the website that I have used it's uh, jcopens.com antenna and you can you go to the uh, calculator section and uh, QFH antenna calculator is uh, here and the tuned frequency 137.5 megahertz and the conductor size I have chosen is 5 mm and it will give me the overall dimension dimensions and if I calculate the calculation it will show me the proper length of the con conductor and there you can see the length total there is uh, there are two loops in this uh, one is the longer loop another one is the short smaller loop or short loop and in here all you have to do is find these lengths these you know d1 length and di1 length for longer loop and in short loop d2 length and the di2 length you don't have to do this dc2 length if you are using a stud conductor or a copper bar or copper pipe i would i will uh, suggest you to use a copper conductor because it will reduce the conducting loss and it will provide much more easier to deal with because uh, it's quite easy to handle but aluminium uh, quite fragile and uh, if you bend it a bit too much it will break so here um, we are going to need the H1 length, the length of the total uh, total span of the longer loop and for short loop we need the H2 uh, which is here uh, in the millimeter, millimeter range and uh, we also need the D1, uh, the D1 total length we have to divide, I will show you in my chart. So uh, throughout this uh, calculator you can calculate the total length of the wire so what I have done is here you you can see so what I have done is actually if I point something to it so 
I have made this is for the long loop and this is for the small loop. I have to drawn a total length of the conductor and there uh, for uh, by measuring the uh, calculator from the calculator the d i1 the d1 length is being divided by two sections there is the d1 length there is the d2 length the middle lower uh, lower length lower uh, the you can see the d i1 length is also uh, being here you can see the d d d1 length so I have used that total length and just uh, these uh, all uh, left these two lengths are equal because total you know the total length and so you get the uh, unknown value and this value is being marked throughout the conductor so I, in my conductor I have uh, placed a tape around this and uh, for smaller loop I have done the same and by bending this thing and uh, the drilling the boom is being drilled to a specific height in there uh, for h1 for longer loop h1 73 centimeter 731 centimeter and for the short loop same upper position where the antenna is going to uh, face the upper position or the satellite position and the lower is a bit lower because we have sh shorter loop so the length of the loop length height of the loop is quite small a bit small but uh, uh, you have to drill small hole uh, 90 degree apart cross cross holes and i have done that and i uh, have just uh, put this conductor throughout the length and i just bend this conductor towards upwards and bend these also upwards and i have twisted the conductor towards the you can see uh, on the design you can uh, already see the twisting part comes apart here and uh, the upper part is going around and comes back to the opposite side of that loop and another part is comes opposite, opposite side of this loop so by side by side we have different loops uh, this loop is smaller this is long loop another one is smaller this is long loop so connection in the connection part we just connected these two elements together in upper position and these uh, back side and this element together for the center tap of the coax and another one is to the body of the coax and there you can see it is being separated so there is no connection uh, through this part so that is how we have connected uh, the uh, QFA antenna you have you might have to calculate for your own uh, conductor diameter i have used mine and that is how i i somehow managed to make this and fit this thing uh, i am guessing you might need another person to help you with because uh, for me alone this long of a conductor and bending this quite hassle for me so you might also need some uh, coil of wires the coax needs to be coiled th this way uh, towards uh, the uh, the connection part near the connection part because this will somehow feed some extra impedance matching this will provide some impedance matching i guess i'm not sure but uh, i have also done this through following the article and uh, the connection that i have done just used screws and uh, somehow managed to connect all this the side elements connected together and another set of elements are connected together i don't know if you can see but uh, this is there i i will i will try to mount the uh, boom to the antenna setup and there i have just twisted the wire sideways and it will end up matching the total length so i will put this to the roof and see what result i might get just the pass of NOAA 15 just began and we are recording right now and 
the gain pattern until now looks quite uniform and it's 22 September 2024 it's 1752 hours and satellite is over there the maximum elevation of 24 degree and uh, the gain pattern looks quite you quite uniform much better than the b, b dipole that i had previously and it is currently recording and uh, the data is currently being processed over at the corner wx2 image and uh, with the software we are using sdr console as you can see and we are also uh, using the satellite tracking function of sdr console and after you can see after that we have the 26 degree elevation pass of noa 19 so let's see how clear are the picture we can get with this new qf h antenna so the raw image that we have just captured in uh, noa 15 as you can see uh, it turns out quite uh, uniform and uh, if you are using same type of uh, qf h antenna design you might get much uh, greater much clearer result for 24 degree elevation i uh, what you expect uh, it uh, it should be this much because as you can see the maximum uh, capturing point that uh, channel that uh, captured here is my location and it's the end of the uh, picture so uh, i think it's quite uniform and let us see what uh, uh, high elevation data uh, might look like we will uh, post a video about uh, that also as you can see here is my location and here is the total image data that the uh, antenna received and it looks quite uh, okayish uh, because uh, much lower elevation again and uh, if we go to the thermal nova uh, we can we uh, can see the disproportion there you can see the losses of image uh, turns out to be red and other data these, these are all clear data so for much uh, lower resolution thermal camera captures and transmits and we receiving the data will show you how capable your antenna is because there you can see much data losses are there and there are uh, clearer pictures although Uh, here is my location but uh, you can see all the data reception so uh, we will see about the much uh, higher elevation data what it might look like and uh, if you are building your uh, qf h antenna i will suggest you to use copper wire because that uh, would be much uh, easier to handle and uh, copper much flexible in that uh, way and uh, don't think too much about the um, the diameter of the conductor because uh, at least you have uh, you at least you have to have 5 uh, or 6 mm uh, copper wire uh, due to low resistance it will uh, give you much uh, better result uh, result would be the same but uh, it should perform a bit better and uh, for uh, the copper uh, the advantage you will get is uh, making the system much more uh, the process uh, much more easier so best of luck for your qf h antenna i don't know if i have provided uh, much clearer uh, information throughout my video if you have anything to question then you can easily reach out in the comments and question is being answered obviously and you will see what satellite passes we have in maximum elevation as you can see we might have noa 18 satellite pass of 76 degree elevation 
are 22 hours and today is you know 22 September and it's around 18:22 and we might have this pass have much higher although the image that will cap that will be capturing uh, would be in infrared but uh, it's okay uh, and that uh, puts the antenna into the test how clearer we can capture the image and I will see the gain pattern I will see the unevenness in the picture and I will judge how QFH antenna change my data reception but it looks much much better uh, than the B dipole much better for 24 degree elevation my B dipole would cry over this area here he will cry he will, this, this area will be blanked out because so horrible gain pattern uh, it doesn't even this area might get a bit uh, picture this this area totally gone like very bad so i will encourage you to make your own qfh antenna just uh, you all you have to uh, follow is the proper connection and uh, uh, yeah you can get the dimension if the dimension is proper and the length of the wire is proper somehow you fitted the arrangement yeah you you can get away with this and you can get much higher uh, result so until we meet again uh, have fun making your qfh so that's it for this video and uh, we will see you guys in the next video bye bye